What up, what up, what up? This is Mike the Philosopher here again with another one. This one, ready to love. I'm not going to hold you, y'all. Let's just go in. Previously on Ready to Love, this week, I'm going to be in charge of setting you up. We're going to call this Thomas Choice. All right. Who knows? Might even have a few surprises for you. Today's date is Tommy's choice, and I'm really wondering who is he gonna put me on a date with? I can hear. Wow. This woman is extremely gorgeous. I'm curious. What's I'm a your name? Cat. Nice okay. to meet you. I'm Tommy's wild card, which means I am here as a surprise addition to this process. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Hi. So, hey, my name is Christopher. <laughs> okay. This is certainly a curveball. <laughs> Tommy set me up here. Part of this amazing journey now. Me being Tommy wild card is amazing. I feel like he couldn't have picked a better wild card. What do y'all think Tommy set us all together? I'm gonna be honest, Phil. I'm gonna be honest, Phil, because you know me and you. I feel like you're holding a Against me. In this journey, you just gotta allow that to be what it is. Hello, Quentin. How are you? Hey. I'm a little nervous. I was very aware Tommy had a meeting with the guys in the men's lounge. So the guys and I have decided you, you're not ready to love. No, it took me some time to get to the You know, I gotta say, you know, I felt sorry for Tequila a little bit did feel sorry for a little bit but uh, I just don't think I just didn't think she knew how to move you know um she suffered from the same thing that Habibi suffered from and that is uh social skills and not knowing how to pick up on social cues I think that's why she gravitated to Habibi too <laughs> because they both kind of degenerates when it comes to social cues but um wish her the best though not a bad woman she just uh you know didn't didn't know that let's go back in place that you wanted me to be oh but now i'm ready i'm ready to love you kiss me like As I arrive today for brunch, I'm feeling good, looking good. Hey! Hey, hey! <laughs> we got some food, honey. And getting together with the ladies again! Yay! So how are y'all feeling about everything? Um, it's it's been going, you know? <laughs> it's been an interesting process. I'm loving it so far, though. Oh! oh hello. Hello. Rack City, Rack City, Rack City. Oh my goodness, she, she, she. Shout out to Katarina. Uh, I'm gonna just call her Kat. She is built very well, very well put together. I don't know if those. <laughs> I, I feel kind of bad saying this, but I, I'm, I'm a man. I look, listen. Don't, don't hate me because I'm a man. All right. This is what we do. And women know this. And that's why they do what they do. I just wonder if they if they were purchased. That's all that's all I'm saying. If they were purchased. They probably were. Um, you know, just because the perfection is just too it's too perfect. You know what I mean? It's too perfect. So anyway, let's go in. Who is this coming through the door? <laughs> what's your name? I'm Katarina. Hi, Katarina. Katarina. Hi. Okay, what's your pretty name? Thank Welcome. you, ladies. Oh my gosh. The girl's gorgeous and she got legs for days, so definitely high level competition. You know. At least she know. <laughs> At least she's keeping it real. She got legs for days, high level competition. She kept it all the way 100 right there. Let's go. I want to keep my eye on. I just gotta get nosy. Like, are you ladies like open to sharing your connections, or is that something that you guys have been keeping to yourselves? How has that been working? Oh yes, we gonna share, honey. So you know, don't mess with my man. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 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 
Look at you. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. See you. Run time. Hey, how are you doing? Good. How are you, Tommy? All right. I'm good. Welcome to the ride. Thank you. All right. Y'all like how I switched things up last week? Did you like Christmas? Very nice guy. Okay. Easy on the eyes. Easy on the eyes. Wait a minute. Let's get out of here. Some of y'all haven't met Christopher yet. You will have your chance shortly. OK, OK, great. So I got another flip side for you. Oh. No, no, no. This is serious. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I want to invite y'all to an old fashioned, mm -hmm. black and beautiful Dallas. Oh. Hold that. We're doing this ready to love style, all right? Yeah. Yeah. All the men gonna be in the building. They're gonna be ready to match up with y'all. Okay. Step by two by four, whatever it is. <laughs> I know it's definitely about to go down. I'm always excited for everyone to get together. Not only are you able to link up with your connection, but you get to see who your connection is linking up with. Put your dancing boots on and your best cow. Yeah, she, uh, Lee looked better in that, uh, confessional. I, you know, the other one, I don't know. She looked a little greasy, but in this one, she looks a lot better. Uh, she had her, I mean, just rewind it just a little bit to where she is. Catch up with y'all. Okay. Step by two by four, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's definitely about to go down. Yeah, she looks a lot better in this in this confessional right here. Uh, still a little glossy, but it's okay. It's passable on this side. Her hair is, uh, you know, and it looks like it's in a you know a pretty. Uh, I don't want to say a better shape, but it's it, it looks uh, good with the package. I'll put it that way. Uh, let's go back in. Um, I'm always excited for everyone to get together. Not only are you able to link up with your connection, but you get to see who your connection is linking up with. Put your dancing boots on and your best cowgirl swag. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. And you know, even at a holdout, you drop it like it's hot. Okay. <laughs> so I will see y'all then. All right. All right. So you got time to get ready? Okay, you got a couple days. Get yourself together, okay? All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> bye, Tommy. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. Bye-bye, bye-bye. 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 Bye-b
everything. Ooh. We had met. And, it, and it's not forced. It's very smooth. And it's like, this is my partner. And yeah. it could be more. And could be very, very well but something more. You That's know what I'm saying? That's my goal. I want to be sexually attracted to my best friend. Right. Are That's you sexually goal. attracted to your <laughs> best friend right now? What? Right here okay. in this moment? We can leave if you want to, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> if you right. want to, we, move. What the we hell? can box it up and we can go <laughs> if you really want to. Ooh, be careful what you ask sometimes. Right. <laughs> Mario is making it very clear he is not trying to hold my hand in the park. He want to hold my hand after dark. <laughs> This is probably the deepest I have ever gotten, like, on any of my yeah. days, like... I like getting deep, you know? You like getting deep? You might have to keep going deeper and see how deep we oh. can go. How low can you go? What? what I... the, the only thing left is my social. <laughs> Damn, four, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say this, man. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I really dig Sierra and her personality. She's not too stuck up. She's not too judgmental. She's not too, she can take, she can take jokes. She could take a laugh. She's very laid back. She's one of the more laid back women on here. Easy to talk to. I just like her vibe all over, you know, her, her you know, Sierra is the type of woman that if I wasn't romantic with, I would still want to at least be friends with her. That's, that's how much I dig her. All right, look, look, if we don't hit it off, you know, chemically and ro romantically, then at least let's be cool. You know what I mean? Call me. I call you. We hang out, you know, uh, you know, do, you know, take a movie in or do whatever. Cause she's just cool to hang with. You know what I mean? She's, she's so down to earth. That's what I like about her. She don't, she don't necessarily put her career or brag about, you know, her career or her status or famous celebs that she uh, help out or anything. You don't hear none of that stuff. She just, she's just so down to earth. I really dig, uh, I really dig her. Anyway, let's go back in. Tommy asked us to be open. So today I stepped outside of my comfort zone and I set up a date with Red. I'm looking forward to sitting down with him all one right. on one Lava. and Lava. getting to know more about him. How are you doing? All right. You done all right? Lava. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, no doubt, no doubt. Lee is a sight to see. When God made that first woman, I guarantee you it looked something like Lee. It was good to see. That is an entire fact right there. <laughs> When God made his first woman, it looked a lot like Lee. Let's go in. Yeah. I'm glad you decided to join me this evening. Absolutely. Cool, cool. Um. Can you see in the process your, your future yet? After these interactions with all the ladies? A, a couple, baby. Are you hopeful? I, I don't really want to talk about nobody else but us I right say, now. Are you hopeful? Oh, yeah, I'm very. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I am. I love conversation, but you never know. Sometimes I would love to, like, be a fly on the wall and see how people view me. Yeah. But I think that's everybody, right? I think at first, when I first talked to you, you were so calm that I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> He's way too calm for me. Like, <laughs> I have to warm up. People usually are like, how you, like, shy and... <laughs> Turn up, King, mm -hmm. right? I want you to pull that personality out. I want you to show it, let it shine. This is not a business meeting. Oh, no, no. I got you. This is a meeting to see if you want to potentially do life with people. I think when we're doing conversations, mm -hmm. um, most people usually just see me in the party atmosphere. Like, I've had a corporate job mm -hmm. um, for the majority of my life. And then I just DJed on the weekends, so most people don't even know about my Monday through Friday, nine to five, Okay. you know, stuff that I do. Um, I worked for the city of Dallas for uh, nine years as a contract compliance officer, senior contract compliance officer. I'm real mm -hmm. good with numbers. Um, and so then I start working for another company as the uh, internal communications manager, uh, doing all of the communications throughout the company in US, <laughs> um, Canada, mm -hmm. and Mexico. And, um, <laughs> you know, 
for that. I don't know if you cracking jokes in your conversations with other people, but I feel like I'm in class. <laughs> what? Come on. Calmness is very concerning for me. I know that I like to have fun with my partner, and even though I'm telling him, you're very calm, do you have any other level that you can go to? He still stays on that same level, which is kind of like, are you an active listener? Because I'm trying to give you a hint. This is who I am without the lights and the hoorah. I'm very laid back. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna be on stage all the time. I'm gonna be at home. Yeah. What, what do I you need to do? I gotta order, hey, can we get like 17 shots? And what you no. want me to do? No. Pop some bottles, we need some sparklers. <laughs> what you want, what you want? So I gotta have somebody that likes the at-home red. We in intimate settings though. Okay. <laughs> Now, let me say this. Um, Red takes me as the type of guy who, and this is gonna sound weird, so just bear with me, just bear with me, just bear with me. He, um, he's intimidated by beautiful women. I feel like he's intimidated by beautiful women. All of the super cute women I think he has a bit of a, an, an intimidation uh, thing going on. And this is what another thing I noticed is that men love hang, uh, what, <laughs> ladies brace yourself. Okay. Women love, I mean, men love low hanging fruit. Okay. And what I mean by that is Janelle is a bit of low hanging fruit and you're going and she gets a lot of attention, right? The reason why is because she ain't the, she ain't the prettiest out of all of the women. She ain't none of that, but she's, she's, she's easy to talk to. She's a laugher. And this is why her and red get along. She's a bit low hanging fruit for red. Red don't feel the pressure of, trying to get her to like him i think she's actually off of red right now she's on onto onto some other guys but red is i think intimidated by beautiful women now in red's defense i don't think he should have to perform all the time you know what i mean yeah comedian that's my that's my day job okay uh you know call from nine to six that, that's my day job but i don't feel like i should have to be performing all of the time you know every you know when you tell people you're a comedian people kind of expect you to be a comedian you know what i mean um so i don't think it was necessarily fair for lee to kind of be like you know you should pull this person out and this that and the third but i just seen him looking at her and what else is she gonna say you know he's kind of he left he just running down his resume and he used to do this he used to do that and that can be a little boring okay don't nobody want to hear that you know so she was like what like, like why well, i feel like i'm in class I, I got i understood her point at that point but i don't at the same time i don't think he should be um performing all the time but as a comedian you should you should kind of be quick on the draw you should be you know your your recall should be spot on because that's that's an exercise that comedians practice all the time you know what i mean you walk in a room you know how to you know how to make it happen all right and that's what people kind of expect that experience of that recall that's so quick fast and and on point and funny that it's entertaining that's why this is why wherever jamie fox go uh shout out to jamie wherever he go he just he's on point with it you know some comedians can some people some comedians are not like that like eddie murphy i don't really think he's that way i think he's very cerebral when he's uh one-on-one -on -one. but i think when it's time to turn the lights on he he does perform but um it's a it's, it's it's not a connection between them two obviously right 
but I think he was intimidated by her. She was bored by him. Uh, she was unfairly expecting him to be a comedian. He was, uh, you know, not being, he was giving her, her his boring resume. So it was just a all around mess. Those two are not a match. Um, I don't even know if they match up physically or whatever, but um, I'm not even sure why Lee chose Red to go on a date with. I guess she wanted to try to find out more about him, but I'm not even sure who her connection is. Uh, uh, the only person I know she's connected with is Quentin, and I'm not even sure if Quentin is checking for her like that. I don't know, but... Um, she probably should have took it probably would have been more interesting if she would have took took him back out on the date I, you know I think they went on the date already but I'm I was just questioning the move maybe maybe even um, Christopher I, I, you know maybe they should have she should have went out on the date with Christopher and got to know him a little bit better but anyway uh, let's go back in Get the witness, kill it like a crime scene. About my paper, yeah, I've been grinding. Today is hoedown day. It's all cowboy theme attire. It's our first time seeing everyone again in one space. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Hey, you. How you doing? Knowing that we have the power this week, I'm really going to be observing to make sure these men are stepping up their game. Tell Ella. We're matching. We're like orange in it. You know, it's orange is the favorite best color in the world. I guess so. Are they showing the interest that I need to see? I don't know if y'all could see it. You really got to squint your eyes. But when you look at Aries, she got a little bit of Janet Jackson in her. I don't know if anybody else see it. You'll probably be able to see it a little bit better throughout the show. But she remind me so much of, of a Janet Jackson. If Janet Jackson was the same weight as Aries, they would probably look a lot alike. You'd be surprised. I'm just saying. Let's go in. Because nonchalant will get you nowhere with me. Yeah. Hey, 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 you can write on this one now, can't you? Whips, chains, and horses. And all that. Don't get me started, man. <laughs> all right. Give it up for my black cowboys back here. Give it yeah. to them. Yeah, yeah. cowboys. There's some that. bad, bad boys behind me. Y'all have no idea. And you standing on a black-owned piece of property. Oh, that's okay. right. Yes. Cheers. Yes. black home. I know, that's right. We Texas, baby. Right. Well, listen, I want y'all to have some fun. I want y'all to dance a little bit, drink a little bit, kick it a little bit. And then it's gonna get a little serious. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, mm. The ladies have the power tonight. Mm -hmm. oh. So make sure you're still intentional about your movements, all right? Because the next time I see you, one of you will be sent home from this here hold down. Oh, oh. Wow. 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 Tommy, I just got here. Like, we can't start eliminating people. Like, let me find a little connection first before you start sending people home. All right, mm -hmm. I'll be back later. I want y'all to mingle. See if you can make something tangle, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all get what I'm saying? I'll be back. Hey. Hey, Tommy. Yes, sir. Um, I have to dip out. My company is giving me an award today, and I have to be present in order to uh, receive it. You got an award with your company? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. I don't normally let people dip out of my hoedowns, though. <laughs> so I need a note from your boss. Yes, sir. I can. When you come back. But before you leave, you might want to make your rounds. Yes, sir. Because somebody going home. I'd hate for you to be gone and gone. I, hey, I, I would hate that too, Tommy. Oh, I would yeah, definitely damn. hate that. I don't, don't want to leave this process. Make your rounds and congratulations. Thank you. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all soon. All right. Thank you, Tommy. Cowboys, let's go, baby. Oh. It seemed like everybody participated in the whole hold down and the dress down except for Kira. She just, she's too much of a princess to do that type of stuff i noticed uh really kira you couldn't find nothing that was you couldn't even go shopping and find something that was uh this chick man yeah. 
it's the wild, wild west and we coming to party. The honey's looking fly like it's a hottie safari. As I make my way, I do whatever I do. Waving at the girls in the mind. I say, my, 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 I said there ain't no way. Yes, sir. You're the new lady. I am. What's your name? I'm Kat. Kat, bring it in. Bring it in. What's your name? Herbert. Yes. Nice to meet you. As well. Listen, okay. so my biggest thing was, I was like, I want the next guy that I date to be able to pick me up. No, do not. Okay. All right. <laughs> the ladies have all the power. I'm going to do my best to connect with the connections that I have, and hopefully they don't send me home because I just don't want to go home yet. Uh, oh, you really was trying to put it right in there, huh? I can find a hole pretty easily. Oh! <laughs> man, oh, man. <laughs> Aries is thick, boy. Woo! <laughs> hey, what up, what up, what up? How you doing? Look at Christmas. How you doing, with hey. the hat on. I yeah. see you. The vibe at the whole down is absolutely amazing. Uh, Chris, I ain't gonna hold you. Nice to meet you. Nice okay. to meet you, Jay. I want to meet all of these beautiful ladies. I want to make sure I give them a thorough impression of who I really am. I know they're going to be wondering who is this new stud just walking to the room. Any kids? No kids. No children? Right. No, I've never been we married. Like you. She said, we like you. Y'all funny. Yeah. Okay, well, we're we talking about kids. kids. Christopher looks good. I really want him to take that hat off to see if he's a hat fish, though. What is a hat fish? A hat fish is a guy who has a hat on. He looks good as hell. But after you take it off, what do you be talking about? I just met everybody. I'm still touching, breaking the ice, getting to know people. I'm, yeah. Because if I go off looks, I mean, I'm going to be... Turn your head all, all day. day. I want somebody just as beautiful on the inside, beautiful on the outside. You got a tough exterior. And I don't mean a guard I mean, up. I, I mean, know, like... you smart. Now you, you, talk, you talking now. I'm more observant. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I hope somebody can see, like, the inside of me, like, for us. Like, I'd have been through a lot of Me too. When I first met Unique, she made it very clear I don't play no games. And that kind of had me a little nervous a little bit. But as I talk to her, I feel like, OK, she's cool. She's just being who she is. I'm yeah. trying to be able to meet somebody and start growing and helping each other build and yeah. build and build on top of what we already got. It just depends on, on the two people. I'm not a <sighs> I was going to stop it and say something, but let me Keep it going. Afraid to say it? Okay. Definitely not. Oh, she's standing like she's about to get married. She said, I'm not afraid I'm to not say afraid it. I'm not afraid to say it. On the two people. I'm not afraid. She's cool. She's just being who she is. I'm yeah. trying to be able to meet somebody and start growing and helping each other. That's the shot where I had the thought, okay? Fine woman. I'm not going to front. Uh, she's a cutie. But what she got going upstairs worries the hell out of me. I'm just saying, she, it just worries me. Unique is cute, but like I say, low budget making good. But, um, and, 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 you know, I hate to keep saying that, but, you know, I do find similarities in a lot of the ladies. She looks lo like Megan Good, uh, you know. To me, Aries, I do see a little Janet Jackson in her. If Janet was her size, same weight, it would probably look a lot alike, especially when they smile and stuff. Um, so, and I, I, thought, I thought I seen a little bit of Vivica in, in Jessica, but I don't really see it anymore. So anyway, let's go in. The build and yeah. build and build on top of what we already got. It just depends on, on the two people. I'm not afraid to say it. Okay. Definitely not. Oh, she's standing like she's about to get married. She said, I'm not afraid I'm to not say afraid it. No, no, say it. <laughs> oh, that was nice. I like that one. Yeah. I'll get them for this little. When I was younger, my grandmother used to have a swing on the front of her porch. I love it. And I used to go out there and just sit and swing on the porch. Yeah. And so, I do miss some of the simplicities of that. Really, you trying, you're trying to get- Trying to get a little swing action. <laughs> you're trying to get some swing action. A little, a little movement. Okay, we gotta move at the same time. So you're right. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not, no, har no hard moves. Soft moves. I got a lot of hard moves. I'm, <laughs> I'm just, all right, go ahead. What we got to do? Soft moves. Subtle movements. Subtle movements. Okay, go ahead. To the right. To the right. 
It's not working. <laughs> it's not working. So listen, Herbert and Quentin are my top connections. I can't ever say who's number one and who's number two just because depending on the conversation that we had, they kind of are interchangeable. Now it's funny <laughs> because in my in my ranking video, I said she was a bit of a waffler, just a slight little waffler, and sure enough, she proved me right. <laughs> she proved me right. Now look, she got will probably can be considered at least two out of the three best guys on the show. I think uh, Chris uh, is is the third guy, but I think she got two of the best three guys on the show. So uh you know when you got those selections you probably don't want to choose one guy right away i get it i get it i get it um but again i still think she's a bit of a a, a waffler a little bit i think she kind of playing her cards but you know what i'm gonna give her a slide i'm gonna let her slide because if 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 the if she if it was a guy and he had two beautiful women to choose from and he didn't choose one right away, I wouldn't be mad at him either. So I'm not mad at her either. But um, I did just notice that she is a bit of a a bit of a waffler. But we'll see how it goes. Tell me something about you that I don't know that I should know. I'm skinny dip much in life. In a pool or in the ocean? It was the ocean. It's just the moonlight. Mm-hmm. You know. Just the water covering? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But <laughs> I, I go in the sunlight, too. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, what's all that laughing about? Go skinny dipping with me in the sunlight. What the moon like? Y'all look close. Y'all look close. <laughs> we are close. Y'all look close. Ain't no more space in here. Y'all look close. <laughs> Ain't no more space. A lot of noise, a lot of noise, a lot of noise. <laughs> I'm like, nah, nah, bro. Now's not the time. You better find somebody else. We're not done on this hammock yet. You ain't right, supposed right. to get in here with no shirt on. <laughs> I'm I'm supposed to get in there with no shirt on. I'm gonna let y'all I'm gonna let y'all have y'all look comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. Don't <laughs> get too comfortable. <laughs> All right, you got some newer things going on over here, and I'm gonna need you to calm down. I've never been this up close to it. It's like the Clydesdales in New Orleans. You know, the police, they ride on horses. Yeah, I don't get, I stay away from them, too. Yeah, but you <laughs> I'm real big, like, you can ask anybody about me. I'm real big on energy, right? Me, too. I was in the bottom last elimination, and so with Tommy saying another dude is going home, I know I need to talk to Unique, so there's no animosity or beef anymore. I don't like my energy being drained on some negative stuff. I, I don't like bad vibes. Mm -hmm. The stigma of my lifestyle says he's probably not a family man. Because you have a thought job. I don't want to put it like it's that. Because you have a thought Goodness job. Gracious. It just seemed like we're here to get to know people and learn about each other. If I feel somebody don't like me, I try to keep the peace. Based on our initial interaction from mm -hmm. jump mm -hmm. i do i don't know i want to say i still feel the way i feel okay you entitled to feel how you feel as far as if it's a level of disrespect or whatever that may be because i can only control what i can control you said Okay. Everything that you do is giving me red red flags. That's what you said. And I did. It came out of your mouth. After conversation. Right. So if everything so I give you is red so flags, is, then you're not really trying to get to know me so because you don't my, even know me. I gave you the time to sit down and address some of so my concerns off top. So you got to know me top. in 15 minutes. I don't even think it was that long. But That's if what you I'm think saying. It was so how do you long, think you know me then? I got the best name in the city. And it's in the street. Mm -hmm. I can guarantee you it's not. So like, I just knew there's, there's, Red existed out of no, the blue. Well, you got to know me. You in Dallas. I don't have to know you. I, and, and you, you obviously top, do, and you the top, And you the top comedian in Dallas and couldn't take a joke or your feelings was hurt or you had thin skin. No, you, I don't. And I don't, so, I don't, again, <laughs> you don't have, you don't have to accept funny. my sense of humor. 
so I politely so decided now. to. I'm not a comedian. Okay. I, I do what I do. Okay. Because I'm me. But Show I do you business. What... I do real good business. That's from the Mavericks to the XFL to the NFL to club owners to promoters to say I ain't got no good name in the streets is is a bold face lie because we can run the receipts on that. That's I... giving me narcissistic vibes, sir. Red's entitled to his opinion as far as me taking the time to get to know him. I feel like I did my part. Everybody knows my name. Everybody knows my face. Mm. Whether people want to see it or not, I'm the king of the city. Okay. <laughs> now, let me say this, man. Unique is, it's funny she brought up narcissism because I, I actually said that she is narcissistic and I, and I, I still do, by the way, I'm not, I'm not more in my ranking video. I, I, I said that about her now, red is kind of going a little desperate here. He's going a little, you know, trying to prove his worthiness he's practically on his knees okay saying uh you know please look at me and and see my value and i'm i'm out here in these streets now i think that unique either she knows red from a situation maybe he smashed and dashed her in the past i don't know or and he don't remember her or Unique have a friend that knows Red and gave her some dirt on this guy. She got she got his number some kind of way. She got his she 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 pulled his car some kind of way. And she 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 probably do know his reputation out in the streets. That tells me she she either had an encounter with him before as a groupie or something or she knows someone who dealt with red and they talk greasy about him and she's not going to bring that person up because that person probably don't want to be on on tv and put on blast but i think that there is something in the background with these two that's causing this whole friction and I think it's on unique side and she's not being all the way transparent with it. Her thing was like, yeah, I just, I just didn't know about red or, or whatever she said. Like she pulled his, she, she knew about him. She knew about him. She, as a matter of fact, on their first date, they say, I, I know you from somewhere. There is something going on in the background that we probably never going to figure out. We probably will figure it out at the reunion. That's probably when all the juicy stuff come out. But um, as for now, she's hanging that over his head, and he's like, "Look, you you painted the this this light about me, and I don't know where this is coming from. My name is good out in the streets. Um, you know, look, get off your knees, bro. Get off your knees. You ain't got to beg her." I know it's elimination time, but you should be focusing your energy on potential connections. Okay. Unique ain't going to stop a show if you got some connections. Trying to convince her that you are worthy is a, a complete waste of time. I don't know what happened to him and Janelle. I think that maybe they... They, they started off strong, but maybe the phone calls wasn't hitting and she started gravitating more towards Herbert and Quentin because of the phone calls. But I would have expected him to have a better shot at Janelle than any of the other guys because he's a comedian and she's a laugher. So Red is sort of dropping the ball. I kind of feel bad for the guy because he's not a bad guy. He's just, uh, he's, he's just misunderstood. He's just misunderstood. And, um, when you're in a competitive situation, uh, that can work against you so much being misunderstood. Let's go back in. Come here, daddy. 
Daddy. <laughs> Man, I'm about to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we tatted up. You got a couple? Yeah, I got like four, but they're all hidden, you know. I'd be a little modest. Like, meanwhile, with the cheeks out, modest. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got to put a wager on it. What are we doing? I just want to kiss on the cheek. A kiss on the cheek? A kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Damn. I've been looking forward to this. I have to. I want to kiss on the cheek. A kiss on the cheek? A kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Damn. Mm, 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 mm. Girl, you're looking good in that black. It's funny because you have the, the black skin, but you still look in all that black leather. I'm not sure about the green boots. Okay, that's that was a questionable move. But everything else, mm, 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 mm. Lee, you look good, girl. I've been looking forward to this. I have to. I was feeling kind of like schoolgirlish a little bit. I was like, okay, am I doing too much? Like, let me calm myself down. Do y'all see it? Do y'all see a little bit of Janet in there? Janet Jackson? Miss Jackson, if you're nasty? Let me know. Put it in the comments if you agree or disagree. <laughs> you do it <laughs> Do you uh, intend on continuously traveling with work or you want to sit Not down? forever. It's not I, too I can have you gone too long. Oh, really? Uh, not too long. Why? I need you to come back home. Oh, okay. CC me on the email. Okay. You tell them when you about it. Oh, BCC, you yeah. so they don't know. BCC me. Right, right. No, oh, no, CC me. They don't know. So they don't know. <laughs> I love flirting with Philip. I need someone who wants to be a father, who wants to be a husband, who is kind of settling in that part of his life. I definitely feel like we have a connection. Why are you so fine, though? You don't have no answer for it. That's fine. That's cool. I can answer it. I can articulate it myself. But you I'm can just articulate it. Rhetorical. <laughs> Listen, I'm just glad you think so. The strength, can we make it work? Mm -hmm. Come on. Voila. I'm magic, baby. I'm magic. <laughs> So you called me the other day and was like, you're such a pleasant surprise. So where did this come from? Our conversation at the restaurant, the leather and lace was super dope. I was feeling that and I'm like, okay, that's a little, that's, that's, that's thoughtful. This is all for you, darling. Hey, like... <laughs> no complaints Yeah. there. My biggest thing with you was like, when you were like, yeah, I don't see myself being in Texas. I see myself being in the Caribbean. And I was like, ooh. My heart is in the Caribbean. My plan is to move there. I love the Virgin Islands. Hmm. So it made me a little like... Uh... A little weary? Absolutely. I mean, I love Texas. It is a great place to raise a family, clearly, because, you know, you can live like this and have your kids running around. And, and yes. I'm seeing, I'm seeing vibes, like, like family vibes here, you know? Yeah, it's dope. So, I mean, you know, I'm, I wouldn't, I'm not opposed to it. I know you said your heart is in the Caribbean, yeah. though. And I feel like you need to connect with someone who is on that, you know? Yeah. But again, I made these plans without someone else to consider. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everything that I've, my future plans, they were made by me. You yeah. know, so obviously if I fall in love with someone and start a relationship, then I got to consider their wants and wishes as well. It feels like Marvin tells me what I want to hear, not necessarily like the truth. So there was persuading and selling dreams but I don't know if that's because he's a gentleman or if that's just like who he is he doesn't want to rattle the cage which to me is a red flag um because let me let Marvin finish it's about teamwork mm -hmm. pressure yeah now she said that he feels like she's just telling him telling her what she want to hear. I think what Marvin said is perfectly legitimate. These are my plans. Okay. I didn't, um, this, this is how I feel, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to take my partner's feelings into consideration. Uh, you know, if, if once we become a couple, then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll revisit that. But Kira just does so much judging of people. It is ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Almost every guy she comes into contact with, she judges them. And she thinks she figures them out. She did that with... Uh, I think she did that with Red. She's doing that with Marvin. She did that with Quentin. 
said he liked white women. She said that in it uh, at the meeting. I mean, this woman is judging people like get off of your high horse. She she feels like she even too good to wear cowboy attire at this at this shit. Like like she feels like she's a princess or something like calm. <laughs> Let me just calm down, man. Let me just calm down. I don't. I'm not I'm not feeling this chick. I think I think right. Like, l l let me keep it a buck. She looks good. She looks good as hell in that in that red dress right there. I give her props for that. Um, her looks ain't so much her problem. Her personality is. If she had a diff, if she had Sierra personality, she would be much higher on my list. If she had Sierra personality, but Sierra don't seem to judge anybody like that but you know all she said is I want to see Christopher without his hat on you know see if I'm, he's hat fishing or whatever but she don't judge people this chick Kira she just a person like that it's hard to be in a relationship with because it's not going to stop She's going to jump to conclusions every step of the way. When you're dating, when your boyfriend, girlfriend, when you're a husband, she's always, it's in her personality. She's always going to jump to conclusions and they're going to be wrong. Now, right now she's saying Marvin is telling her what she wants to hear. No. He's not telling you what you want to hear. Marvin is not. Marvin don't take me as a guy who's going to be on his knees for 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 a woman who is not feeling him. He's just not going to. He's not going to do that. If 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 you're not that chick, like you know, it, you can really tell when it's the women. <laughs> you can really tell when the women have the power when they have the power in the week because they act so so different like unique you know she was she was pretty emboldened and and unapologetic when it came to red and and kira is like oh okay this that and the third you the women are just so comfortable now you can tell um but i really don't like the judgmental nature that kira has in her jumping to conclusions it is annoying as hell already. And she has a self image of herself that I would, I would say is inaccurate. Okay. You think you're a princess. You can't, you can't even dress for the occasion. I think that's the same dress she wore when Tommy made the announcement is, <laughs> is we're going to have a hold down. And she came to the, this, the event with the same dress on. It's like, Girl, I don't know about you. Let's go in. So your reputation precedes you. What? What does that mean? How? You've, I'm not the first person to tell you no, that. No, you're not. Uh, so see, there it is already. Yeah, you're you know what true. it means. <laughs> yeah, we got a new girl. And she da 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 da. I'm like, what? What's da 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 da? I want oh, you da, want da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Herbert has that calm demeanor that can just kind of put you at ease. And I was really excited to get to know him a lot better because he was giving grown man vibes. It's like, yeah, she's tall and beautiful. Aww. So, you know, a lot of the guys here, it's like 80% of men are not as tall as her. I was like, well, I'm in a 20 percentile, so <laughs> that makes it sound like my category. <laughs> this is nice. I hate all let me say this. I'm I'm a little bit surprised that Herbert is 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 still single because he know how to talk to women. See, it's funny because it's almost as if Red should have Herbert's personality and Herbert should have Red's personality. Right? It's it's almost as if they they swap personalities. I mean, you would expect that with Red being the comedian, like 
Herbert go in there and talk to Cat. You know, he give off grown man vibes. He can crack jokes. He can do that with Janelle. He can do that with Katarina. He can do that with all the women. And, you know, I think that's why uh, Jessica said that he got uh, like player vibes or something like that. And he was like, I'm not I'm not no player or I. I'm I'm not no ladies man like that. If I was, I wouldn't be on the show. I am a bit surprised he's on the show. So, I, you know, I will wonder I wonder what his past is. He don't have no kids or anything. But he don't have no problem talking to the ladies and they seem to be attracted to him. So I'm a, I'm I'm a little puzzled by the whole thing. And like I said, I, I it seemed like him and Red should have swapped personalities or something but anyway let's go back in i'm leaving but you know listen you worked hard yeah you deserve it yeah but you know hopefully you live to fight another day here so because chris has to leave i want to ensure that he is top of mind for these ladies before we go into eliminations just making sure you yeah. all are aware yes you know of all the great things that the lord has blessed <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, if she got anything to do with it, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> so I felt it was only appropriate for us to just kind of go on like this little world tour of compliments. Do you like my tassels? Yeah, oh, yeah, I love it. Spin, spin, spin around, spin around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Time. I like it. Are you good with I like me? it. We just kind of went around and made sure all the ladies knew that Chris found them to be attractive or he liked their outfits. I'm getting out of here. It's okay. Whatever it is that he needs to let them know so that when it came time to elimination, they remember that they did have a connection with him. I really appreciate you walking me out. We competitors, so they yeah. gotta know, like, if you're trying to hit, sit with some winners, you gotta be ready to stay I in agree. the kitchen, so. I agree. Mm. I just hope me making this decision doesn't take me away from this process. Leaving the hole down, I am a little nervous. All right, cool. I'll see you later. Text me home. Okay. All right. Knowing that one of the guys is potentially gonna get eliminated, I don't know, I could be in a chopping block. There's so much more I want to explore and get to know with Jessica. I'm not ready to leave this journey just yet. Now, some people thought it was weird that she she took him on a tour to meet all the ladies, but she was there with him. Kind of like, look, this is my man, but you know, give him a shot. Don't don't vote him out. And you know, I guess it could be. Com considered a little weird that she is she is kind of uh, you know ushering him through the, the all the ladies and stuff like that um first of all i have to say she looked good in her cowboys <laughs> outfit um holding his hand giving him a lot of girlfriend energy it's obvious who jessica is feeling I don't even really see her talking to any of the other guys, really. I, it's just, she's so, she, she's the one who's tunnel vision. She's tunnel vision. I think Lee is tunnel vision with uh, Quentin too. But um, I got to say, I, I kind of like that in Jessica. I, you know, if, if I'm Chris, I kind of like that, that she, you know, made sure to all the ladies, uh, you know, uh, would know not to vote me off. Um, I probably would have did it myself, though. I, I wouldn't have, you know, held her hand and went through the whole list of women. I would have done it myself. Um, that was a little possessive of her. But at the same time, it kind of showed that she is super interested in Chris. And it kind of showed that she want him to stay so there's some good and there's some bad in that you know uh you know i don't need my you know i don't need you to hold my hand while going to see other women but at the same time i do like holding your hand when i'm going to my car right um but i think it was a, a it, it was a, a a good look for for overall it was a good look that they did that i hope they i hope they make it as a couple i don't think they are i've seen a preview <laughs> where where chris was almost cussing jessica out at least that's what i've seen in one of the previews 
because he was like, you don't know me. You don't know nothing about me and all this other stuff. So I think it's going to fall apart at some point. I hate to be a spoiler, but that's what I seen in a preview. Probably everybody's seen that. But uh, I do still wish they would make it as a couple. I would like to see how that transpires. But anyway, let's go back in. I used to be a little reckless when I was younger, and it, it caused some embarrassment. So me being like vulnerable in this situation is a big leap for me. Well, you kiss in the mouth first. I ain't kissing nobody in the mouth. Cause kissing is very intimate with me. I, it it's is. one of my favorite things. Yeah, me too. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh Lord. Let's go, let's go, let's go around, go around. Come on. For the people. All right. So listen. I got some dancers that's gonna come in here and gonna teach y'all a few line dances. Y'all cool with that? Oh my God. Right, just relax. Line dancers, y'all come on in. Lord Jesus. It's time for some line dancing up in here. Line dancing is here. All right, come on. I'm gonna let y'all have it and just dance they butts off until the leather get hot. Can you do some directions like non-real dances? <laughs> one more time, one more time. They want me to dance in front of all these beautiful people. I don't have a lick of rhythm. I don't even know how to do the electric slide. All right, y'all. This time, we're going to see y'all do it on y'all own. Let's do it. I just need the music. That's it. Woo! OK, it's officially a hoedown. I got excited. I'm the best dancer here. Hello. So let's go. Take it to the flow. I couldn't help but watch Danelle kind of move on the dance floor. I was like, OK, she got a couple little moves. She's showing a different side at the whole down. A little more frisky than usual, which I appreciated. Quentin and Nakira were, you know, the line leaders. And Quentin is surprisingly a really, really good line dancer. I did not know this until the hoedown. Oh, fine. Ah. Hey. Woo. Ah, good job, good job. How are you feeling about today? I'm sure Aries got some relatives somewhere in Gary, Indiana. I'm just saying. I'm sure she has some relatives in Gary, Indiana. Hey. I'm feeling good. I'm glad I get to spend time with you. Yeah. You popular. You're popular. Don't play. You're very popular. As long as we both popular, but we come back to each other. That's all I, you know what I'm saying? That's all I care about. <laughs> This holdown has been quite the whirlwind. I got to spend a lot of time with Herbert and I got to... Now, let me tell y'all something real quick. I'm gonna let her finish, but let me say this real quick. Ladies, I need you to pay attention. I really need you to pay close attention. How is Janelle able to get all this attention and be so popular with all of the guys? Can anybody raise your hand, tell me why? Is she the most pretty girl on the show? No. What is it about Janelle that's making her so popular? There are lessons to be learned in how Janelle is moving. There are lessons to be learned. Janelle is lighthearted with the men. Not so much with the women, but with the men. Again, I don't know if this is her representative. If it is, it's working like a charm. She has a sense of humor and can laugh about things. OK, she don't take anything too serious. If you slip up and say something stupid, she's not going to hold it against you. 
She's not in competition with any of the men. She wants to be in unison with the men. She's she she has a inviting personality. Okay? An inviting personality. There's something to be lear- learned about that. How is Janelle so popular? And she got two of the uh, best three guys on the show. It's because she knows how to talk to men. Be delicate, be soft, be feminine, friendly, which is one a lot of women don't get. Okay? She ain't got the fit part, but she got that feminine and she got that friendly. She got it nailed down. And if you got those two, men can overlook the fit part. Okay, that's a, there, there are lessons to be learned here. I don't want this to just glide by and people just not pay attention. She don't, she don't have the fit part. She can get that. She's, I mean, Quentin is a, he's a, he's an instructor. He, he uh, uh, what is he a, tra- a trainer? Like he, he ain't worried about that part right now. If a trainer, a physical, physical fitness trainer. Is feeling her and she's the biggest woman on the show. There are lessons to be learned here. A physical fitness trainer who is attracted to the biggest woman on the show. How is this possible? Because she got that feminine and she got that friendly. Down packed. More than the other women. I just had to point that out, y'all. Let's go in. Spend a little bit of time with Quentin, and they're still pretty neck and neck, but Quentin is forever applying pressure, and that's what I really, really like about him. I was afraid of this process because it's, it's really hard for me to connect with people initially. Really? But since day one, it's really been genuine between me and you. Yeah. And it's really been, like, easy. I appreciate that. Yeah. I feel the same. Yeah. But for this process, I am kind of looking at how we nurture the relationships Mm -hmm. to see, like, okay, we like each other. We have attraction, but do we really have connection? Connection. Yeah. You know, and are we going to be able to carry it past the finish line? I think she's worried that he's a a physical trainer. I, I think that was code for... You're a physical trainer. I'm a big girl. How is that going to work? That, that's what that was code for. Can we carry it to the finish line? She didn't say those words. But if I had to assume where her mind is right now, like, look, dude, you buff. I don't even see know what you see in me like that. You know, you're a, you're a physical fitness trainer. You can see I'm not that lee type of girl i know your other connection is lee i get that but at the end of the day are you gonna still you know find me attractive be there for me that, that's what she's saying you know without saying the words and i don't know if he got that because that that could be missed that could be i mean it's pretty ambiguous it could be mean a lot of things but i think that's where she's going with it but anyway let's go in i don't see us slowing down no time soon <laughs> i mean not slowing down i don't see us slowing down no time soon okay, slowing okay slowing vision <laughs> i'm full speed go so it's always a good time with her man we get each other it's almost effortless so i'm definitely excited about getting to know janelle a lot more you look good in that hat, girl. Do I look in you your look, hat? You look good in that hat, girl. Well, you know what happens when you wear a man's hat now. Tell me. Now I'm yours. Okay. <laughs> you gonna keep it on? Because they got an elimination. Hold <laughs> on. Now you got <laughs> Don't get in trouble now. See there? She can laugh, y'all. She can laugh. Key. Key, very right, key. Right, Mr. Marvin. Farm life might not be good. <laughs> right. Farm living ain't the way for me, boy. I swear to God. I'm like... But yeah, I'm, I hear itching and sneezing. Right. Yeah, but I'm having a good time. Yeah. That's good. You know, um, 
It was all kind of things attracted me to you in the beginning. I'm like, yeah, she got the red dress on. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that, though. Okay. <laughs> no, I love that. What's Hello. keeping you attracted? You're so genuine. My life goal is to reproduce the life that my parents gave me. I, I literally want my next relationship to be my last. Right, and I yeah. know that before, so does that look like a, like a monogamous relationship? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> yes. Like I said, Lee has been uh, in relationships where the guys have cheated on her or they, you know, and, and I said before, this woman is super conservative in the bedroom. I'm going to have to shake her out of that. I, I kind of figured that. So she's always worried about that with every guy that she come in contact with. And Marvin is probably the last guy. <laughs> she, she is expecting monogamy with. So that's why she asked that question. Let's go back in. Sure about yeah, that. Yeah. Right now you're saying I want this, I want a wife. Do you mm -hmm. ever feel afraid of do those desires show back up again? I just don't want you to be bored. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I won't get bored because we haven't discussed the things that I like one-on-one. -on -one, and those things are the things that will keep me mm. satisfied. Is, do you care to tell what those things are? Yeah. I have an ass worship fetish. That's that what? <laughs> ass worship, yeah. Um, I'm not even sure what ass worship is. Can somebody explain? <laughs> And then I have my oral fetishes, you know, um, nipple, things like that. I have an oral fetish for it. Okay. I have restraints under my mattress. There's a art called forced orgasms. When the woman is provided the orgasm, but she can't run, she can't resist it. And the things that I do to pull that orgasm out are like, it's super, super intense. Okay. Honey, Marvin <laughs> about knocked me out of my seat. I'm not judging him in any way, but I don't understand what he's into. I'm not open to what he's into. So my best bet to slide to the side. But it's like I said, I said this woman is super conservative in the bedroom. And I said that on my ranking video and I was spot on. I'm spot on on a lot of this stuff, y'all spot on on a lot of this stuff watch yourself okay listen to the philosopher he's on point with a lot of stuff she's she's very conservative she don't know what that is she's not open that was key she's not even open to it um this ain't a match let's go back in pleasurable you know what i'm saying it's nothing to be afraid of right how y'all feeling about the slow down i had a good fun. time yes learn some line dance for the line dancing yeah, yeah, oh yeah, who knew i got what we doing over here hey, oh, what's, what's up what's everybody good yeah. yeah. Fellas, get out here, the ladies. Absolutely. All right. Well, well, open up that shirt one I ain't open up my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous that the women have power this week because I know some of these women are feeling me and some of them are not. It's most definitely a concern for me. So, let's talk about it. I'm going to start with you, Lee. Who are we feeling? My connection with Quentin continues to grow. Okay. We're twins when it comes to discipline. Y'all ain't twins. Y'all ain't twins. <laughs> <laughs> Quentin don't look like that. <laughs> Quentin, we just have a really great conversation. There's check-ins, just like, hey, just thinking about you. Um, oh. And it was nice, girl. It was nice good. when I got in. Unique. You did your thing with Christopher. Christopher. That is a man. Kimmy. With a tall glass of water. That's, that's all very nice. <laughs> it's very nice. He has a city boy mindset and a country boy heart. And that's my thing. Mm. Aries, who are we feeling? Phil, for sure. Okay. We've been talking on the phone a lot. Mm -hmm. lot, lot, lot. A lot, lot, lot. Yeah, it's like just easy. Okay. There's no explaining. So that right there is just like, I haven't had that in a long time. Okay. Like, so that's big. So I would definitely say top connection right now be Herbert. But I feel like Herbert's definitely in a place where he can be a provider, a leader. He's just such a grown man. Okay. I'm intrigued. So my top would be Marie. 
Martin is really nice. And, you know, he asked me about, like, my real-life situations. It means a lot for a person to, like, remember conversations and then take it to another place. Okay. Kira. I enjoy Herbert. I feel like he's real. I don't feel like he's pretending. I don't feel like he's showing up as his representative. He'll call me, and then he'll text me. I'd love our conversation. Okay. Jessica, who we feeling? I would say Chris. Okay. We have really good conversations, and I think we moved past the surface phase. Okay. Right? Gotcha. Y'all know what time it is. Oh, Lord Jesus. Time to get down to the nitty-gritty. Who are we not connected with? Lee? Red would definitely be my bottom. We had a date that I didn't really care for. I feel like you have to put that much effort into just being raw. For me, it's definitely not a connection. Okay. I had a connection with Red, but it's just like a little disconnect on like the communication. It's like, it's unclear of what he's here for. Okay. I'm gonna have to give it to Red. Same like the girls were saying, the name dropping. I don't even know who you are to even want to know you because of who you know. <laughs> Unique. Red, for me, it just starts and stops at, I don't think we're a match. Okay. Christopher. I don't have any romantic interest in him. And so when I'm talking to him, I'm looking for something that moves somebody out their spot. Mm -hmm. And then what I get is someone who's running down pieces of their resume that are supposed to impress me. No, thank you. Wow, that's interesting because she's the first one he met. Uh, they had the one-on-one -on -one date and Janelle is not feeling Christopher. Uh, interesting. Just, just an observation. Okay. Eric. I would say Marvin. His lifestyle, I know I would not be able to like really be what he would need me to be for that, you know, and he's really into that and it's just not my cup of tea. Marvin, it's just inconsistent, you know, one day we're doing this, the next day we're doing that, the next day we're doing this. It's almost like, what part of you do I need to appease to today? Sure. I think that Marvin's great. The only thing with Marvin is he just tell me what I want to hear. Mm. And if we want to spit game, baby, I can spit game. Right. Everybody, hello, honey, you look great. Like, I can do the same thing, but a lot of these men are just, they're showing up and saying what you want to hear. Right. All right, I got what I want. I'm going to let you guys chit chat. Okay. Hey. Yeah. All right, all right. See y'all soon. These eliminations are hard, and I hate doing it right now. I don't know how this is gonna affect other people's connections. It gives me a lot to think about. Y'all feel good in these connections? It's like, did I present my best self to her? Like, I told about myself, but did I really say how much of myself did I show that? I just put everything on the table. This, yes, this is who this I am. Me. This is what this you know. This is me. You can eat this or not. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can you handle this plate? <laughs> or not? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. It is that time. It's about to get real. <laughs> all right. One of these gentlemen is about to exit stage right. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm growing my connections with the ladies, and it's starting to get down to the nitty gritty, so I honestly don't know who's going home tonight. Jessica, can you step up here with me? <laughs> oh. She's our leader. Oh. <laughs> All right, Jessica, the floor belongs to you. Can we have Marvin come to the center of the floor, please? <laughs> I am kind of surprised, but kind of not at the same time because I understand that I'm different. I think differently. My life has been different, but I love who I am. I'm happy with the man that I am. And Red. Oh man, I'm very nervous. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I was in the bottom last time, so I don't know if I did all the work that I should have done. Marvin, a lot of ladies have amazing connections with you. They're open to some of the things that you're interested in, but it's actually your stories that cause some ladies to have pause to decide if you're really ready for love or if you're just really trying to position yourself for whoever you may be talking to at that time. Red, sometimes people wonder, who are you really outside of your job, outside of your stuff, and outside of your connections? Who are you at your core? And are you really ready to love? 
Unfortunately, one of you all will be leaving tonight. The moment that you think you're safe is when you're gone. Lord, please don't let this be me. Next time on Ready to Love. Fellas, you now have the power to eliminate. Not tonight, though. Not tonight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, take the most stress. Come here, girl. Good How to you see you. All right, not too tight. <laughs> Being on this date with Herbert, knowing that he has interest in Janelle as well, absolutely we're competing against each other. May the best man win. How you are with your sons? It, it just, it triggers, it triggers, it triggers something in me, and I'm, and I'm happy because I'm like, this is a special woman. Seeing Chris get emotional was tough, but I was really happy that he decided to share that with me. I don't know, you just look like the guy that would be dating white women. Why would I be on this journey if I like white women? Me and the fellas met with Tommy today. Okay. Uh, you know, your name came up. Good or bad? This <laughs> chick, man. Good or bad? I'm a princess. Oh my goodness, Kira. Kira. You're oblivious, sweetheart. You're oblivious. Um, I'm not saying you're going to go home next week, but I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, you're just too... <laughs> you, you, you're too high on your high horse. Um, but I'll deal with that next week. Anyway, what do y'all think? Who's going home? Red or Marvin? Now, there's an argument for either guy. Red is not connecting with the girls as far as his personality. Marvin has a, what I would consider a, um, what would I consider that? Just a, a, a hard no for a lot of the women. Uh, one of those uh, deal breakers. If, if he's in a situation where he practices fetishes and, you know, he got restraints under his mattress and f forced or, you know, orgasms or whatever and handcuffs, whips, chains, and then he writes about it in his books, that may be a little too much for women. <laughs> It may be a little too much, you know, especially for the mild and timid and the very conservative women. All right. Um, so for those who think it may be red, not so fast. It could be Marvin. For those who think it's Marvin, not so fast. It could be red. Who do y'all think? Put it in the comments. Who's going to... And don't be afraid if you're not right or nothing like that. Just put it in the comments. Who you think is going to go home next week? I'd be interested to know. Uh, what do you think about what I said? Is I off on something? Or, you know, if you don't agree with something. I got to say I'm pretty money, though. I'm pretty money with all this stuff. Anyway, hit the like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.